Um, Stations of the Cross, do you know what they are? Uh, in in the, our Catholic Church here at Queen of Peace, around the walls there are uh, fourteen stations. They're they're um, they're markers along the way to Calvary, and they record in art and drawings what happened on Good Friday. Um, during the Turkish occupation of the Holy Land in the late Middle Ages, when pilgrims were prevented from visiting the sacred sites in Jerusalem, like the place where Jesus was arrested, Gethsemane, uh, Jesus before Pontius Pilate, uh, Jesus on the way out the Via Dolorosa to Calvary, all of these places were, were uh, they, they couldn't... Um, visit them anymore at that time. So the custom arose of making replicas of uh, the day of the crucifixion. And they're called the Stations of the Cross. One of the most popular of these devotions was the Stations of the Way of the Cross, which were imitations of the stations or stopping places of prayer on the Via Dolorosa in Jerusalem, where Jesus walked by the late 16th century, the 14 stations as we know them today were erected in almost all Catholic churches around the world. So, we'll start off. Um, the first station of the cross, Jesus, uh, Pilate condemns Jesus to death. Pilate was the Roman governor of Judea. He knew that Jesus was an innocent man. He knew it by talking to him. And but the priests wanted him dead. Uh, Pilate's own wife uh, said to Pilate, have nothing to do with this just man, this Jesus. You know, and she said, I was disturbed much in a dream because of him. But um, Pilate, however, sold his soul in some way or other. And so he handed Jesus over to be crucified. Consider how Jesus Christ after being scourged and crowned with thorns, was unjustly condemned by Pilate to die on that cross. And then there's a little prayer. My adorable Jesus, it was not Pilate. No, it was my sins that condemned you to die. I beseech you by the merits of these, this sorrowful journey to assist my soul on its journey to eternity. I love you, my beloved Jesus. I love you more than I love myself. With all my heart, I repent of ever having offended you. Never let me be separated from you again. Grant that I may love you always and then do with me what you will. It's the first station. Um, the second station, Jesus accepts his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. My most beloved Jesus, I embrace all the sufferings you have destined for me unto death. I beg you, by all you suffered in carrying your cross, to help me carry mine with your perfect peace and resignation. I love you, Jesus, my love. I repent of ever having offended you. Never let me separate myself from you again. Grant that I may love you always and then do with me what you will. At the third station of the cross, you kind of move from one to the other, you know, and you kind of, uh, you know, you bend your knee. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. You could say that at every station. Uh, so Jesus falls the first time. Consider the first fall of Jesus, loss of blood from the scourging and crowning with thorns had so weakened him that he could hardly walk. And yet he had to carry that great load upon his shoulders. As the soldiers struck him cruelly, he fell several times under the heavy cross. So visualize your Jesus, you know, on the, on the paved ground and that cross on top of him. And, and he is already near death from loss of blood from the scourging. 
My beloved Jesus, it was not the weight of the cross, but the weight of my sins which made you suffer so much. The fourth station, Jesus meets his afflicted mother. Um, you've heard me say that in the life of Jesus, um, at some stage, every one of his apostles ran away. Uh, on the night of the Last Supper, uh, Jesus went out and sold him for money. Later on that night when Jesus was arrested, all of them ran away, without exception. And so when it came down to the very end, then the next day at the crucifixion, there was three women beneath the cross. And St. John had come back. So Jesus meets his afflicted mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how the son met his mother on his way to Calvary. Jesus and Mary gazed at each other and their looks became as so many arrows to wound those hearts which loved each other so tenderly. My most loving Jesus, by the pain you suffered in this meeting, grant me the grace of being truly devoted to your most holy mother. And you, Mary, my queen, who was overwhelmed with sorrow, obtain for me by your prayers the tender and lasting remembrance of the passion of your divine son. The fifth station, a man named Simon of Cyrene uh, came out and to help Jesus carry the cross. Consider how weak and weary Jesus was. At each step, he was at the point of dying. Fearing that he might die in the way when they wished him to die, the infamous death of the cross, they forced Simon of Cyrene to help carry the cross after our Lord. There's a tradition to the effect that Simon was coming in from the countryside with a basket of eggs when the soldiers forced him to carry the cross with Jesus and that he had left the eggs on the side of the road. And when he got back three hours later, just a tradition, that the eggs were all colored. And we have this tradition to this day of coloring Easter eggs. In a hospital nearby, there's a hydrocephalic child and his head, the sides of his pillow, and he can't color Easter eggs, but uh, he and Jesus will color Easter eggs together. Simon of Cyrene's children were prominent in the early church. They're mentioned in the Acts of the Apostles. He was from Africa, this Simon person. This one is lovely as well. Uh, the sixth station, a woman named Veronica. The name Veronica itself means virus icon, means true image. Virus icon. A woman offered her veil to Jesus. She pushed the veil to his face. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have re redeemed the world. Consider the compassion of the holy woman Veronica. That's not her name, actually. We don't know what her name is, but she was called Veronica because Jesus left the image of his face, the icon of his face, on her scarf or whatever she was wearing. Consider the compassion of the holy woman Veronica. Since Jesus, seeing Jesus in such distress, his face bathed in sweat and blood, she presented him with her veil. Jesus wiped his face and left upon the cloth the image of his sacred countenance. This veil, I can't tell you where at the moment because I don't know, is still here in the church someplace. Not here, but in Rome. And uh, it almost has the consistency of an onion skin. And you can see the face of Christ on it. Um, but I'd have to do more research for you. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. Consider how the second fall of Jesus under his cross renews the pain in all the wounds of the head and members of our afflicted Lord. My most gentle Jesus, how many times you have forgiven me and how many times I have fallen again and begun again to offend you. By the merits of this second fall, 
give me the grace to persevere in your love until death. Granted, in all my temptations, I may always have recourse to you. I love you, Jesus, my love, with all my heart. I am sorry if I have offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant that I may love you always and do with me what you will. At the eighth station, the women of Jerusalem come out to, to uh, whatever, to comfort Jesus. The Romans would have blown on the trumpet on their way to Calvary to let everybody in Jerusalem know there was a crucifixion going on and to attract a crowd Well, the women came out. Consider how the women wept with compassion, seeing Jesus so distressed and dripping with blood as he walked along. Jesus said to them, weep not so much for me, but rather for your children. If this is what they do in the green wood, if this is what they do to the innocent, what will they do to the guilty down through the centuries? My Jesus, laden with sorrow, sorrows, I weep for the sins that, which I have committed against you because of the punishment I deserve from them and still more because of the displeasure they have caused you who have loved me with an infinite love. The ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. Consider how Jesus fell for the third time. He was extremely weak and the cruelty of his executioners was excessive. They tried to hasten his steps, though he hardly had strength to move. My outraged Jesus, by the weakness you suffered in going to Calvary, give me enough strength to overcome all human respect and all my evil passions, which have led to despise me to despise your friendship. The tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. I love this station the most for some reason or other. As a little boy in, in the care County Tipperary, the priest would be doing the stations of the cross like I'm doing them now out loud. And there was something in it when, he, when, when the priest said, uh, Jesus is stripped of his garments. And then it said, strip me of love for things of this earth. I was probably seven or eight or nine at the time, but it just did something to me. Strip me of love for things of this earth. Consider how Jesus was violently stripped of his clothes by his executioners. The inner garments adhered to his lacerated flesh, and the soldiers tore them off so roughly that the skin came with them. Have pity for your, sa for your Savior so cruelly treated, and tell him, my innocent Jesus, by the torment you suffered in being stripped of your garments, help me to strip myself of all attachment to the things of earth, that I may place all my love in you, who are so worthy of my love. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. Consider Jesus thrown down upon the cross. He stretched out his arms and offer to his eternal father the sacrifice of his life for our salvation. They nailed his hands and feet, and then raising the cross, let him die in anguish. My despised Jesus, nail my heart to the cross, that it may always remain there to love you and never leave you again. I love you more than myself, Jesus. I am sorry for ever having offended you. Never permit me to offend you again. Grant that I may love you always and do with me as you will. The twelfth station. Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Consider how your Jesus, after three hours of agony on the cross, is finally overwhelmed with suffering and abandoning himself to the weight of his body, bowed his head and dies. My dying Jesus, I devoutly kiss the cross on which you did would die for love of me. I deserve because of my sins to die a terrible death, but your death is my hope. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our lives. We look for you to come again in glory soon. 
the 13th station Jesus has taken down from the cross. Consider how after our Lord had died, he was taken down from the cross by two of his disciples, Joseph and Nicodemus, and placed in the arms of his afflicted mother. She received him with unutterable tenderness and pressed him close to her bosom. You might be aware of Michelangelo's Pieta, and Pieta means pity. And we have a copy of Michelangelo's uh, Pieta, Mary holding Jesus at Queen of Peace, made by the Chinese, if you don't mind, and carved out of kind of yellow marble, and it was carved with water to uh, one sixteen hundredth of an inch accuracy, all the way from China. O Mother of Sorrows, for the love of your Son, accept me as your servant and pray to him for me. And you, my Redeemer, since you have died for me, allow me to love you, for I desire only you and nothing more. I love you, Jesus, my love. I am sorry that I have offended you. Never let me offend you again. Grant I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. And then the 14th station. Jesus is placed in the sepulchre or the tomb. Consider how the disciples carried the body of Jesus to his burial, while his mother went with them and arranged in the sepulchre with her own hands, and arranged it in the sepulchre with her own hands. Then they closed the tomb and all departed. O oh, my buried Jesus, I kiss the stone that closes you in. But you gloriously did rise again on the third day. I beg you by your resurrection that I may be raised gloriously on the last day to be united with you in heaven, to praise you and love you forever. I love you, Jesus, and I repent of ever having offended you. Grant that I may love you always, and then do with me as you will. So those are the stations of the cross. You're invited to come to the church, you know, five days, six days a week, if you like. The church is open from early morning to mid-afternoon. Um, and you could walk around the stations and say your own prayers. Amen, amen, amen. <laughs>